Shalom. Welcome back. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to your eye, pushing his word, sincerity, and truth. Back with another lesson. They're going to be a one and done, uh, touching on this article that came out a couple days ago. I've seen other brothers have posted it up. Just wanted to leave a quick scripture on it. Dealing with every American social security number address may have been stolen in hack. All right. This has been pretty big news. It's been all over the place. But, hey, hey, us in the know know what time it is, man. The powers that be are are uh, basically itching to set up a new system, man. And it's going to be by uh, any means necessary, you know what I mean? So, they're going to keep pushing hacks. They're going to keep pushing collapses. They're going to do all this to bring in that new system, which is going to be that MOTB system. You know, the mark spoken about in the book of Revelation. That's the new system that's going to come in, man. All right. So social security numbers and cards and all this shit is going to be a thing of the past. So now <laughs> if, if your number is not safe, you know, with the actual uh, social security bureau, hey, who is it safe? Who is it safe with, man? Right. You got to ask yourself that question, you know. Uh, slack and bear with me. The scripture I, I'm gonna grab is uh, Psalms 94 and 20. It says, Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which framest mischief by a law? Yeah, I'll just keep going, read it out. They that gather themselves together again, Slaki, like they gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous and condemn the innocent blood. But the Lord is my defense and my power and the rock of my refuge. And he shall bring upon them their own iniquity and shall cut them off in their own wickedness. Yea, the Lord, our power shall cut them off. Right. So when they get ready to bring this uh, mark, right, which is going to be their implant through the spirit, uh, the Lord... It's going to allow this to be done based on Bible prophecy, but then he's going to cut these people off, man. He's going to get rid of them, man. First and foremost, Mystery Babylon is going on, going uh, going to be destroyed, along with all these other uh, so-called governments, all right, that rule upon the earth. The Lord is going to get rid of all these places and all these leaders, all right? So that system and this system and that system is all going to be destroyed. And the only one that's going to prevail is going to be the nation of Israel. All right. First and foremost, first, first and foremost, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And then uh, his elect. Right. Let me read that one more time. Actually, I'm going to get uh, that, that Psalms 94 and 20 in a different uh, translation. Right. This is Psalms 94.20 in the NLT version. Can unjust leaders claim that the Most High is on their side? Leaders who decree permit injustice? Right? So we all know if if you're an Israelite and you go along to get along and take this mark that's coming out with this new system, hey, that's it, man. There's no repenting. There's no coming back from that. Your ass is going to be destroyed, man. But, uh, <laughs> hey, the powers that be, man, Hey, these leaders, these leaders are unjust, man. But a lot, of, a lot of our people still uh, believe in this system and believe in other systems, thinking that these uh, these worldly governments are going to prevail, man. Right? But they absolutely are not. But yeah, I found that interesting that uh, how they came out saying that every American social uh, a <laughs> might have been hacked, man. It was stolen. So that doesn't give you much confidence uh, <laughs> in, in, in the current system. And they're and they banking on that. They're banking on civil war. They're banking on revolts. They're banking on people being fed up with the system so they can come with something new. And that's ultimately uh, the reasoning behind coming out and pushing these types of stories, you know. But that's the point. Uh, something quick. I want to give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Shalom the next time.